It is said that a person took an appointment to meet Eckhart Tolle and he reached one hour late. And he apologized to Eckhart Tolle and he said, Oh, I'm so sorry that I kept you waiting. What do you think Eckhart Tolle's reply was? Okay. Let me ask Geetika. Geetika, what do you think would be your response if someone came to meet you one hour late? Mm. Yeah, I'll be a little furious. You made me wait so okay. you don't respect time mm -hmm. and so and so. Yeah. Maybe yelled at him, maybe went away, not kept up the appointment. Okay. What did this fellow say? It was said that Eckhart Tolle said that, Oh, there's no, no need to apologize. I was with myself. Nice, nice. And most of us find it difficult to be in our own company. We are forever reaching out and looking for someone to entertain us. And loneliness is a huge problem that we are facing today. And that's what we are going to talk about in this episode. Hi there. You're listening to Spirituality Sideshow, where the weird meets the wonderful. Hidden. So, Sheila, loneliness has become such a rampant uh, problem. I mean, people are connected in ways uh, through one device or the other. They have millions of followers and 100 million this thing. And you remember uh, Twitch from Ellen Show? Yeah. I mean, he his sole job on Ellen Show was to keep the spirits high. And this fellow used to shoot videos, had wonderful kids, beautiful wife. And then was found in a hotel room, committed suicide and was found there. Mm. Uh, I mean, loneliness just hits you and I don't think many people know what loneliness is and how to deal with it. Why is it such a big problem now than ever? Loneliness has always been a huge problem. But earlier, what was we didn't have so much of social media. Now, again, I don't like to blame social media for everything in, that is going wrong in life. There are two things that we blame our problems on. One is social media and the second one is our parents. Let's not, let's not even go there. Okay. Now, loneliness is a huge problem. It is said that loneliness kills more people than smoking does. Imagine. That That is a, what research has yeah, shown. Yeah. And 50% of the people in the world are lonely, which means every other person that you're meeting is lonely. Yeah. One of the most important reasons why people are lonely is because they do not know how to enjoy their own company. Yeah. Yes. And which is why I see a lot of people stuck in relationships where they feel lonely. And there are a lot of people who come and who just want to get married. They say, no, no, if I get married, I will have a companion. You know, I will have something to share things with. It's not true. What about loneliness in marriages? There are a lot of people who are yes. married who are well, lonely. Yeah, I've had a phase where I didn't feel like there was anybody with me. Yes, when you are in a relationship and yet you feel lonely. And because you don't know how to handle the loneliness, what happens is that you stop setting boundaries and you're willing to stay in a relationship which no longer works. Yes. Yeah? So many people stuck in toxic relationships simply, just simply because they don't want to be alone and by themselves. Mm. So what's wrong with being by yourself? Very scary, Sheila. I mean, uh, not everybody loves themselves or even appreciates themselves to want to be with, hang out with themselves. Yes. And then they wonder why doesn't anybody else want to? Absolutely. You said it. The thing is, we have to learn to love us. Okay, love is too huge a word. Yeah. We have to learn to like our own company. You are going to be with yourself till the end of your life. You better learn to like yourself. Right? And most of us, we have comparisons, we have self-judgments, we have self-doubt and we don't really like ourselves. Definitely. And I think I personally feel that for me because it has happened to me. Because I had a period or I have still have a period when I'm addicted to social media. So a lot of, I have lost touch with a lot of my close friends just because I see their life and I see them doing a lot of things. And then I feel that what am I even going to talk to them about because I've done nothing. Hmm. And they'll ask me what's up with you and I'll have nothing to say and they'll have all the wonderful things to share. Is that true that you have nothing to show for yourself? Uh, a little bit, but not much. It's not like I just sit around all Is day. Is that true? Getting coaching online. Yeah. <laughs> My God, I've become a subject of your <laughs> podcast episodes. 
बट या सम एवरीबडी गोज थ्रू दैट थिंग दैट ओके माई फ्रेंड्स आर डूइंग सो मच ऑन सोशल मीडिया एंड लाइक यू ऑलवेज से देन पीपल स्टार्ट बिलीविंग दैट देर ट्रेलर ऑफ देर लाइफ इज बिकम देर लाइफ वेन यू स्टार्ट बिकमिंग लोनली बिकॉज यू हैव अ लैक ऑफ डोपमीन एंड सेरोटोन इन योर सिस्टम यू स्टार्ट गोइंग इन टू डिप्रेशन इट लीड्स टू एंगजाइटी इट लीड्स टू पैनिक अटैक्स एंड दैट लीड्स टू अ होल लॉट ऑफ डिसीजेस which yeah. then sets that cycle into motion true and you don't know how to come out of your loneliness you don't know how to get rid of your diseases you don't know how to get out of your depression i've seen people who've been taking pills for depression for years and yet not being able to get rid of this loneliness, loneliness. yes yes but uh, i feel that it's also because people don't recognize it yes yeah they're trying maybe so hard to uh, get around people or try to feel valued mm. by buying expensive things and uh, eventually drowning themselves with habits like alcohol smoking drugs which even i feel that even more sucks the joy out of you at the end yes. of the day because you are doing everything to try and achieve happiness but happy is the only thing that you're not so how do we get out of loneliness there is a, there was this interview i was watching about a father talking about what he was asked a question that what are you going to teach your daughters how how, how are you going to teach them to be happy uh, so he said i'm not going to teach them to be happy to be first because happiness is a very personal state of mind i'm going to teach them how to be productive because when you are productive when you are sickness or in health you're putting out something out there that is impacting the world or making even a slightest change in your own life like dusting your house that is where you will find some purpose and value of your own self as well mm. so i think that uh, really hit me hard because when we talk about parenting and what are you going to teach your kids how you want to see your kids 20 years from now that is one very simple these things we always forget we want our kids to be mbas and working in an mnc earning like seven eight figure salary and all that we always forget these little things and that's where all your teenage and your 20 depression comes in yes. from your children so one thing is try and understand that a very simple thing like being productive in the minutest way will help you kill your loneliness actually i have i have seen that when i feel start feeling lonely or depressed one of the things which always gets me through is having a routine in my life yes you know when you lie in bed and say oh my god what do i need to get up for mm. i have nothing to do no one loves me when you have a routine it starts your day and when you start doing things that itself starts killing that depression that you have but yeah, you know a lot of mothers who are uh, uh, a lot of mothers who have like two three kids and of course they have a routine because they have to feed the kid three times mm. bathe blah 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 mm. they also feel lonely so when i when i'm talking about routine i'm talking about routine for yourself yeah, yeah. what routine do you have for yourself yeah most of the time the mothers that you're talking about or the fathers who come into this picture their routine is to do with someone else do they something do with someone else with someone else you go to go to an office finish that work come back home do things for your family then you fall into bed next day morning you have to do exactly the same thing no wonder half the people are burnt out yes so the thing is you have to have a routine for yourself are you getting up and doing journaling are you journaling out your experiences your thoughts your frustrations are you writing it out no i'm not talking about a dear diary this is what happened in my life no journaling is actually just a form of conscious rambling and just untangling yeah. your thoughts whatever is there in here put it on paper and keep that book a secret because no matter how mean and miserable and terrible your life is you still have at least five things every single day to be grateful for it was for. so funny that initially when i used started doing gratitude i always used to feel that my god i don't have five things and then you used to tell me Don't you get air? Don't you get oxygen to breathe? Aren't you grateful for that? How will you survive without that? Ha! I mean, simple things like oxygen, clean drinking water, electricity, uh, charging point, <laughs> like uh, internet for you internet, to watch this yeah, podcast. Yeah, teeth in your mouth. Yeah, hair on your head. Yeah, the lack of hair on your head. How nice! <laughs> What, whatever it is, these are small things. The way that you can move your hands, your legs. Yeah, I mean, people are paralyzed for years. You can at least lift yeah. your finger and point to whoever. Blame others. Blame others <laughs> for your loneliness. <laughs>
gratitude becomes very important in pulling yourself out of this darkness that you're sunk in and pull yourself towards light i think one of the things that really helped me so i was between jobs and i took a year break and oh my god suddenly i was working 18 hours to 0 hours of work and oh my god the amount of lack of self worth i started feeling because at that time i used to equate my self worth with my bank account mm. and uh, uh, just and then we got a dog and suddenly from lying down on my back for 24 hours to taking the dog for a walk 10 times a day it just changed I mean, it's not like I'm doing. I'm with him all the time and doing everything for him, mm. but just the act of getting up and moving a little bit mm. really got my yeah. hormones running, and Correct. of course gave me a dopamine hit when I, <laughs> at the end of the day, this silly fellow used to come and sleep. <laughs> so yeah, I think exercise always helps. You don't have to go to the gym and lift dumbbells and uh, you know barbells, but. Uh, just walk in the nature cycling and running jumping whatever, jacks jumping jacks dancing i think one of the most fun zumba i think it's god's gift to us but just get that hit of energy on a cheap yeah. chikni chaveli song uh, the biggest challenge for people who feel lonely is that uh, like geetika was saying we have low self worth yeah we do not believe that we are lovable enough and that actually reflects in our life because life is a mirror what energy you put out is reflected back to you mm-hmm. so when you start feeling i'm not good enough i'm not lovable there's no one who will love me you will find that you're surrounded by people who are either criticizing you or who want to run away from you yeah and these moments are when you're feeling very low in your job when you're just out of a relationship when you're going through a hard time at work or family or relationships or with your children these moments really are the lowest point and i think that's where you really start questioning your self worth yeah. and uh, remembering all that you've done it becomes very hard at that time to acknowledge what you how far you've come so far which is why gratitude works so beautifully yeah, yeah. and it's also important <laughs> for you to look in the mirror and appreciate yourself look at yourself there are plenty of things that you have which you can appreciate yourself yeah. for your kindness your compassion your sympathy the things that you get up and do for your family the things that you do for yourself the things that you do for your parents all of them becomes things that you can appreciate yourself actually in our workshops one of the things that we do is make the participants write 108 things that they have done yes 108 and there are people who join the workshop multiple times and every time they have 108 more things to do this is an extremely good tip for you to increase your self worth and feel some amount of kindness compassion and appreciation for yourself i think uh, yeah i think that these are very important things that you need to do and apart from that reach out to people nobody is going to judge you because everybody is going through the same shit in their life same or the other you know just reach out to people and talk you will be so surprised to know how kind people are around you yeah. you'll be very surprised to find that kindness so when you bear your soul you'll see how many people come to you and are genuinely willing to help you out i think it's one of the best things to do there are so many clubs now i don't know in america we have a lot of 12 step programs i don't know how it is in india but uh, there are a few uh, groups people that you can reach out to just talk just chat and meet up has a lot of clubs and groups of where you can join your uh, favorite activity and just meet new people if you look at all the tips that you gave there is one word which kept popping up all the time and this is something that is very important and the word is do you have to do it yeah yeah and you have to want to do it and step number 1 is start feeling more self love <laughs> somebody told me that uh, when i was feeling low somebody told me that you are the one sperm that succeeded succeeded <laughs> the race of the one yeah. from 1 million you better value yourself yes i'm going to link upstairs a episode that i've done on loneliness and what you can do to get out of loneliness and we'll see you next, next time see you